morning, everybody. Good morning. And to those who <laughs> to those who are visitors to our campus, welcome to the Dominica State College. Um, it is a very happy occasion this morning as we are gathered to witness the presentation of scholarships to six students of the Dominica State College and this presentation of very important scholarship scholarships I'm sure that will be helpful is being done by the Dominica Civil Hall Alumni Association. Uh, for the, the people who don't know or don't most know, my name is Trudy Christian and I am currently the officer in charge and I have been very pleased to be liaising with the Dominica Civil Hall Alumni Association on this endeavor. So I'm very excited for the students and I do hope that what they receive can go towards some very beneficial use in their educational journey. Joining us here today are our manage, some of our management team. Our students have been selected from all of our five faculties. And we have Mr. Ashley Massicott here with us, the Dean of the Faculty of Arts and Science, which is the biggest faculty. And so because that's the biggest faculty, two students of the six who will be awarded are from the Faculty of Arts and Science. We also have Mr. Stephen Joseph here, who is the Dean of the Faculty of Education, and the Faculty of Education, a student from that faculty, will be receiving a scholarship as well. We have Ms. Lilia Casey here, she's the Dean of the Faculty of Health Sciences, and of course, a student from her faculty will be a recipient as well. We have, we had, Ms. Nadine Rivier, who was the Dean of the Faculty of General Studies, she has had to step out, but Ms. Ashma McDougall, the Director of Student Activities, is here, and we do have a recipient of a scholarship from the Faculty of General Studies. So we have our team here. We have as well Dr. Eugene, who I will call in one second, because she's the Dean of Academic Affairs, and she is the person who selected the students, who did the research, and selected the students. So when the students receive the scholarship, um, the, the coordination of Dr. Eugene has to be recognized in selecting. It was not my coordination, so I have to allow Dr. Eugene to say something. And then I also have Ms. Jose Lewis here, and the, there, there, there was an initiative here, and I really hope it can continue, the I Love You Foundation. Ms. Lewis was instrumental in that, and Frederica James, and the concept of I Love You Foundation was similar to what is going to be done here today in terms of assisting students along their educational path for some sort of financial, um, you know, financial <coughs> reward. And students really need that. There are a lot of people who will excel if they get that support. And I'm so happy the Dominica Sifokol Alumni Association recognized that. Their White Sunset Affair 2023 was successful and they'll tell us more about that. And it's the proceeds from this event that are going towards rewarding these students here today. I will now allow Dr. Eugene to come up and list the students who were selected and um, their faculties. So Dr. Eugene, and uh, um, I said I'm calling you to do it because you were the person in charge of the selection process. So, <laughs> so Dr. Eugene, if you, if you, I know you know, you know. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. As Ms. Christian said, I am Dr. Eugene, sometimes called Dr. Eugene Zamo. I'm the Dean of Academic Affairs at the Dominica State College, and it was really a privilege to, to have my students here today to receive this scholarship. As Ms. Christian said, we chose a student from, at least one student from every faculty, and Ms. Christian, um, we did also choose a student from the Faculty of Applied Arts and Technology. <laughs> because Mr. Leslie, yes, Mr. Leslie oh, unfortunately the dean is not present, um, hence the oversight. So today we have our six students. These students were not chosen just based on need, but because of performance as well. So these students are performing uh, way above average, and these students need assistance so they can continue that step. So I will start off with the largest faculty, Faculty of Arts and Sciences. We have two students today from the Faculty of Arts and Sciences. It is Diana Marcin and representing Mr. 
Essie Green. And Isiel Green is a sister, Miss Lana Green. Then, come on. I'm from the Faculty of Applied Arts and Technology, Mr. Matthew. I don't want to hear this. <laughs> from the Faculty of General Studies, Ms. Aim. And from the Faculty of Health Sciences, Ms. Vital. And Ms. Gustav, could you come to the side of this? this right. So Ms. Gustav from the Faculty of Education. So as I said, these students were not only chosen based on need, but also based on performance. So these are high performance students. Right. Thank you, students. The handover is going to happen after the next part. So you can have a seat. You can have a seat now. <laughs> and uh, of course, we have representatives here from the Dominica Civil Court Alumni Association. They are the givers in this situation, and we are receiving with a very open and warm heart and happy and cheerful. So we need to be smiling, and you know, it's, it's the time of given that we, we we very much appreciate. So we do have the second vice president here of the Dominica Civil Court Alumni Association, Mr. Keith Benjamin. We do have the treasurer here, so I guess the, the person who has made sure the money was uh, able to be given, Mr. Bruno is with us, and the admin assistant of the association, Ms. Honorary with us. So I will now like to call on Mr. Benjamin to deliver some remarks. And um, brief remarks, <laughs> and of course, share this good news that we've been anticipating here at the State College. Okay, very good. Good morning, all. Good morning. Um, Officer in charge, Miss Miss Christian, uh, the deans of the various um, faculties of DSC, um, students, and other representatives from the college, and my fellow uh, DSCA members. Good morning. So the Dominica Cifocol Alumni Association, DSAA, serves as a unifying platform for graduates of past institutions such as the Sixth Form College, Technical College, Clifton Dupini College, um, the Nursing School, the Teachers Training College, and now known collectively as the Dominica State College. Right. DSAA is the recognized um, alumni of the Dominica State College. The association was founded about three years ago, and as our mission states, to harness and leverage the collective expertise, resources, and passion of our alumni network to actively engage in activities that advance the socio-economic and educational landscape of Dominica. We foster collaboration and camaraderie among alumni to contribute meaningfully to the holistic development of Dominica. Through advocacy and strategic partnerships, we aim to address social issues, empower individuals through education and mentorship, and execute community projects and initiatives that are far-reaching and create lasting impact. Our partnership with Dominica State College has included donation of subject awards and prizes at the last three commencement ceremonies, as well as a few other small ventures. The relationship with the Dominica State College has just begun. It is new. We look forward to continuing to support and work alongside the BSC in support of its strategic goals. Today, however, it's about the students here. We would like to congratulate the six, the six um, recipients of financial scholarships made possible from all proceeds of, the, of our signature event, the annual White Sunset with a hint of Creole. That charity event, uh, through that charity event, we're able to donate $10,000 to the six students. We, we, we are proud and we are happy we're able to do this, but the amount will be split even, evenly between the six students from the various faculties of the college as well outlined to help alleviate the financial burden and challenges associated with attending college that many of us can relate to. I call on the awardees, I call on all of you, to make good this scholarship. We wish you success in your journey through DSC as you pursue your life goals. 
these scholarships would not have been possible without the generosity and support of all those who contributed to the success of our event last October. Our patrons, the performers, fellow alumni, and, and well-wishers. But most importantly, I must outline, outline the fact that uh, many sponsors came aboard. We had platinum, platinum sponsors, we had gold sponsors, we had silver and bronze sponsors as well. So our, our sponsors are key to our ability to give at this time. Let me mention that plans are well underway for this year's event. It's already carded for October 3rd, 2024, on the Wednesday. Mark your calendars, save the date, and see you there, right? <laughs> In closing, once again, on behalf of the Dominica Sipocal Alumni Association of DSA, I extend heartfelt congratulations to the recipients and sincere gratitude to all who have contributed to making these scholarships possible. Together, let us continue to inspire, to uplift, and empower future generations. Thank you. Thank you. So Benjamin, thank you, and I'm happy to hear of the intention to continue to collaborate, that the relationship is still young. We do have something in the pipelines, and um, I'm not going to speak it, although it's good to speak things into existence, but uh, we do have something that we're working on, and I do hope that it comes forth we are recognizing your willingness as an association to contribute towards our students and their development but as well as our infrastructural issues and alleviating some of those issues that we have here and making the environment a better one so we look forward to the pipeline dreams that are going to come through and hopefully we will see great reward from this collaboration now it's time for the students to receive what they came all the way up here to receive so we're going to begin with the handover of the entirety of the, the amount, symbolically, to the Dominica State College, and then the practical handover to the students themselves of their scholarship checks. Okay, so symbolically, I'm making sure I say that so that you all don't think it's um, Miss Christian getting the... the the reward, but yes. So, the grand total, <laughs> the grand total of ten thousand dollars from the Dominica Sifocal Alumni Association, presented here this morning to six students of the Dominica State College as scholarships and symbolically presented to me. <laughs> yes? Okay. Yes. Okay, so students, first from the Faculty of Arts and Sciences, I'd like to call on the representative for Israel Green, his sister, Lana Green, to receive the scholarship on his behalf. Yes. Oh, they want you. They want you. She comes here. Yeah, come by your yeah. thing. Oh, one more. Okay, got it. Okay, so that was for Israel Green. Lana, you received on his behalf, but we trust. <laughs> we trust Israel will be receiving the, the scholarship, yes, right? Okay, you say that with energy, so that's good. Um, also from the Faculty of Arts and Sciences, we have Miss Diana Masler. Can you please come up? Miss Masler, what's your major? Psychology. Psychology major, FAS. Mr. Green, Geography major. Congratulations. Then, from the Faculty of Health Sciences, Ms. Christelle Vital, pursuing a bachelor's degree in nursing. <laughs> Congratulations. 
Congratulations, Ms. Vital. From the Faculty of Education, Ms. Tina Gustav, pursuing a degree in primary education. and technology, Mr. Elmarek Matthew. Tell me how to pronounce it. Elmarek Matthew. Pursuing a degree in architecture. Congratulations, Elmarek. And from the faculty of general studies, Ms. Shania Aline. Pursuing a certificate in pre-health. Congratulations, Ms. Aline. So there you have it, our six awardees of scholarships this morning from the Dominica Sifocall Alumni Association. Once again, congratulations to you all, and I hope and I'm sure your deans hope that you make optimum use of this scholarship that you have been awarded. So I, I really hope that makes a difference. And thank you, of course, to the Dominica Civil Call Alumni Association for making this possible. I know that we need to have thanks out of the mouth of the recipients themselves. So Ms. Aline has been selected to speak on behalf of our scholarship recipients, and I call her forward to say a few words of gratitude. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. On behalf of the Dominica State College, the Dean's present, and of course the six scholarship recipients this morning, we would like to extend our gratitude for this opportunity, for giving back to your alma mater, and we do appreciate. We hope that we can support your cause in inspiring the students here and other alumni to join the Dominica Sifocal Alumni Association. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Aline. And I don't know if anybody has anything else, anything they'd like to say. Now it's time for any, you know, remarks that people maybe feel that they wanted to give. No, the room is quiet. But the, the, the recipients will be happy, right? Yes. Okay, all right. So we're going to show that happiness in some pictures that we'll take outside um, <laughs> at the end of this. But this concludes the official handover ceremony of scholarships to six students from the Dominica Civil Alumni Association. Of course, to the viewers of the news, thank you for joining us. And we hope that you will be seeing a lot more from the Dominica Civil Call Alumni Association in the near future. Thank you, and thank you for coming. <laughs> so it's picture time. We, we would like to take some group photos, of course, the deans, the students, the representatives from the ESA, and I think maybe it, it would be best to do it outside if some 